Monica from horsetrailchicks.com and today Tupelo and I are going to show you my favorite way to safely tie a horse to a trailer. Safety is obviously number one and it's hard to believe but a horse can literally break its neck if it throws its head back and it's tied very securely to something that won't break away. So we don't want that to happen. <laughs> okay, um, actually it's kind of cooling me off. So this is actually a breakaway halter. Um, I have a little tab here. It's a leather tab that if he pulls his head back strongly, it will break. And I've had that happen, um, so I know it works. And then there's another way you can do breakaway, and that's this little clip here that um, that breaks away uh, with a strong force. So I'm not going to use that right now because I do have the breakaway halter. What I'm going to show you is my favorite knot, and this is called the bank wrapper's knot. And the reason they call it that is because bank robbers need to get a, make a quick getaway. And the nice thing about this is you can untie it very quickly. Um, now, a lot of people think, oh, well, like a slip knot, I can untie that quickly. What they would do is put the, put the rope through here and tie some kind of a slip knot that they can untie quickly. Well, yeah, you can untie that quickly, but then you've still got this to deal with. And if your horse is panicking or something's going wrong, and this can get caught up in something and not come out. I've had that happen too. So this knot is really awesome because you don't do that. So the way you tie this knot, you might want to come in a little closer, Harry, is um, this is called the standing end. That's the one attached to the horse, and this is the working end. And this is called the bite. You take a little bite in the rope, which is a fold in the rope. Come here, Tupelo. And you're going to take that bite, and you're going to put it through there. Put it through there. Now you're going to take the working end. This is the loose end. You're going to go underneath the bite. You're going to go over that bite. So over the bite and in between here. And then you're going to pick up and you're going to make another bite, or a little bend. And you're going to put that through this hole. Okay? So I'm putting that through that hole. I'm going to kind of hold that up. And then I'm going to take the standing end, that's Tupelo's end, and I'm going to pull it. Make that nice and snug. So now if he pulls, that's going to stay. Okay. And one thing about this is also opposed to a slip knot is a slip knot, the more he pulls, the tighter it gets and it can be hard to undo. So the nice thing about this knot is now he's nice and secure there. And if I need to untie him quickly, check this out. Now he's free, nothing to get tangled at all, really fast. And the only thing is if your, if your horse tends to play with the, the, uh, working on that end that if he were to pull it or she were to pull it and undo the knot, you want to just put like an extra little uh, something in there, um, but that is going to make it take a little bit longer to undo. So that's the, the bank robber's knot, great safe way to tie your horse to the trailer. Thanks for watching.